Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're reviewing the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Roar of Orts Renadon figure from Mattel. The packaging is just the same as it always is. It's got the name of the figure, it's got a demonstration of the action feature, and the Jurassic World logo. Moving to the back, we get this really cool image of the ter ter uh, pterosaur, pteranodon, pterodactyl. <clears throat> Anyways, it shows a logo that it makes noise, which it most certainly does, and then it shows all the other dinosaurs that you can buy. I've reviewed everything in the photo except the ankylosaurus. So now, let's unbox this thing with my new scissors. And no, I am not Iron Man. It's just, you know, Tony's for Antonio, and uh, S is for Santiago, and then... So here it is out of the box. Now one second, let me unfold the wings, and now, without hesitation, I'm gonna take her for a test flight. The flight motion on this toy looks absolutely stunning. This figure is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. It's just so... Anything that flies apparently can't see glass. And they did an excellent job on the sculpt, especially on the head. You can see that crest, it looks extremely accurate. You can see the eye socket is really nicely done. And then turning it towards me, you can see just the way they shaped the overall, you know, shape of the head. They just did a pretty good job. Very, very impressive figure. And here's the QR code in case you want it. And the wings are a lot longer than I expected them to be. It's probably just because they were all folded up in the box and, you know, they are just it's just kind of hard to imagine how big they'd be, but once spread out, they're pretty wide. And the wings are a job well done. The sculpting is absolutely amazing. The paint is nicely done. You can see it's actually printed if you look closely, and it just looks pretty good. If you look closely at the head, you can see there's actually printed paint right there as well. So as far as the articulation goes, um, the jaw, hang on, let me, if I can get to it, the jaw can open pretty wide. You can see that really pink looking mouth. And wait a second. It has teeth? What, 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 why? It's a known fact that pterosaurs have no teeth. Even the Jurassic World pterosaurs have no teeth. And Jurassic Park is very notorious for having inaccurate dinosaurs. What the heck? On to another topic. In the middle of the wing, there's a joint where you can make it smaller so it could fit in smaller spaces. Finally, let's check out the action feature. So right here on the back, there's a button, and when you press that, its wings will flap and it will make noise. It actually has a couple of variations of roars. So the first one, that one was pretty cool. It made a, like a, a cawing noise, like a, you know, a caw. Oh, and then it chomped. That's pretty cool. So then the next one. That one, it roared and then it flapped its wings. That's pretty cool. Next one. That one's just a basic roar. I think there's a last one now. So here's the last one. Okay, that was, that's, that was the first one. Here it is scaled up with the 2015 Hasbro Jurassic World Pteranodon. I think we definitely know the winner here. So that pretty much tops off this review of this amazing pterosaur figure. Oh right, there's this one thing I forgot to do. From now on, at the end of every review that I make, I will do what I like to call a product demonstration. It will be a sequence where I demonstrate the capabilities and the features of every product that I review. So without further ado, here's my first product demonstration.